The United States, as the world knows, will never start a war. We do not want a war. We do not now expect a war. This generation of Americans has already had enough, more than enough, of war and hate and oppression. We shall be prepared if others wish it. We shall be alert to try to stop it. But we shall also do our part to build a world of peace where the weak are safe and the strong are just. We are not helpless before that task or hopeless of its success. Confident and unafraid, we must labor on not towards a strategy of annihilation, but towards a strategy of peace. We know we can go to the moon. We will go to the moon. While the most dramatic event in the history of mankind took place, and a new era of man would begin. We know we can go to the moon. We, 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 we will go to the moon. We know we can go to the moon. While the most dramatic event in the history of mankind took place, and a new era of man would begin. In 20 seconds, everything looking good. We show altitude about 47,000 feet. We are still looking good in 3 minutes, 3 minutes. Good radar data, altitude now 33,500 feet. We're still low, altitude 27,000 feet. Thanks to things like ground clouds. Altitude now 21,000 feet, still looking very really good. Velocity down now to 1,200 feet per second. Thanks to things like ground clouds. Altitude now 21,000 feet, still looking very really good. Velocity down now to 1,200 feet per second. Looking like the uh, Eagle. Altitude 13,005. Velocity. Three feet down, two and a half. We got some best. Three feet, two and a half down. Big shadow. Four forward. is not a new weapon. Throughout history, it has been used by those who could not prevail, either by persuasion or example. But inevitably, they fail, either because men are not afraid to die for a wife, life worth living, or because the terrorists themselves came to realize that free men cannot be frightened by threats and that aggression would meet its own response. And it is in the light of that history that every nation today should know, be he friend or foe, that the United States has both the will and the weapons to join free men in standing up to their responsibilities.